welcome back to a new video. Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC has just dropped today or yesterday depending on where you're from and I have to say it is easily one of the most beautiful DLCs we have ever witnessed in Elden Ring. From Software has just absolutely crushed it again with another masterpiece. The new DLC map looks absolutely stunning and it's just amazing piece of artwork to behold. Running through the new DLC map looks like you're running through an actual oil painting. The verticality implemented in the new map is just amazing. There's cliffs that you can go up and there's depths you can go down. The beginning area when you enter the Shadow Realm looks absolutely amazing. Look at all these ghost grave stones littered across this meadow with this giant fire thing strolling around. The game design still looks great and the new enemy designs are really cool. Oh my god. They've added so many new things to this DLC. New enemy types, new bosses, new weapons, new ashes of war, new challenges and things you have to overcome. It is basically like an entire new game wrapped up in the package of a DLC. So with so many new things to do in the DLC, so many new enemies, weapons, and just basically everything to now acquire, where should you get started in the new DLC? Well, that's what we're going to be diving into in today's video. So one of the new items in Shadow of the Earth Tree are these Skadu Tree Fragments. You can find them lying around, usually at the churches, and what these do is they can be exchanged so they increase the amount of damage you do in the Shadow Realm. It doesn't work when you're outside of the Shadow Realm. So first of all, to be able to access the Shadow Realm in the first place, you need to have beaten Radan at the Star Scourge Radan area. So once you've beaten him, you also need to go to the underground map and you need to go to the Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. And you go here and this is where you're going to fight the boss called Moog. And this is the teleportation area where you get to access the Shadow Realm. So you've got this arm coming out of this big egg and you have to activate it by going up to it and touching it and you need to be able to defeat Moog to be able to access this. Now once you've done that, you can now enter the Shadow Realm by pressing it and then entering into the Shadow Realm. It will then start you off in this gravesite plane which is like a hole in the ground. I don't know what's up there though. And then you just go down through this cave, up the stairs. They love doing this in Elden Ring, don't they? Where you enter out through a hole and then you see the world coming out it's kind of like being born i think it symbolizes being a baby being pushed out of the woman's area you enter the world through the hole and the entire world just presents itself to you in this very grandiose way so you've got a few options you can go straight for that fire boss there you can turn right down there where there's actually a church of consolation i went down earlier so you've got this Church of Consolation, you've got a Shadow, Skadu, Tree, Fragment, if you go down here and follow the road. It's also some kind of knight's enemy which drops. He dropped this weapon. It's called... Where is it? He dropped this, Black Steel Great Hammer. It's a great hammer. Oh my god. Oh, that was not very nice. I was looking at my inventory. I really wish the game paused when you open the settings, we open the inventory. It's so annoying trying to sort stuff out, get attacked by some random mob. So you got a grace of sight right at the beginning of the entrance of the cave. And this will be your starting location when you die over and over again against these new enemies, which I have. And then if you go left, instead of going straight down the middle, there's kind of like a mini boss in a little room, which I just cannot defeat. So you turn left through this graveyard area and there's a little room, a little building. There are these worm things as well. You can actually attack them. So you've got this room here and you go down it and there's a ghost boss, Western Nameless Mausoleum. Now it is pretty tricky and I don't really know how to beat it yet. So my current tactic is I spam wave a wave of gold at it like this he's pretty tough 
So I just spam this against him to weaken him up. Soften him up. So he gets close. I switch. Oh, crap. I switch my weapons to dual blade. And then I do some jump attacks. Oh my god, he just one-shot me with his bow attack. I cannot be this damn fucking guy. So I'll leave him for a bit, and I explore a bit further up, and you got this massive castle kind of place. Don't know if you can actually go into it. I guess you can. It looks pretty cool. I wonder what's inside. So yeah, you can go inside. You start pushing open these massive doors. And I guess this is some kind of legacy dungeon. Yep, it's probably a dungeon where you're going to die a hundred times. Oh my god, what is that? And I'm going to die. I missed that. It's a massive scorpion. I don't think it's a boss. It's just really big. Yeah, it's not a boss. I thought it was a boss. Why isn't my jump button working? Yeah, that was easy. Damn, Wave of Gold is really good against these little things. Watch. Just one shots them. And then you got these revered spirit ash blessings. Can be found across the realm of shadow. Consume this ash at sites of grace to bolster your revered spirit ash blessing. Revered spirit ash blessing bolsters both summoned spirits and spectral steeds' abilities to deal and negate damage. So yeah, this is probably the main dungeon area. You got all these shadow enemies that they're just sitting around not doing anything. Praying. And you get all these smithing stones. So there's quite a lot of smithing stones all around. So I guess they want you to be able to upgrade all of the new weapons pretty easily. You got these big guys here. They're a bit scary. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, what is that? I can't move. Heal. Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. Oh, these guys are tough. What did he drop? Oh, a smithing stone. Oh, there's a, like a well down here. Where does that go? God, there's so many things. So many places to go and explore in the new DLC. Smithing stone. Mesmerfire Grease. Is that all? Oh my god, there's like a whole sewer area. I hate this. Oh, it's locked. Thank God. I don't really want to go down. I hate sewers. Most boring level design in games has to be underground sewage areas. I don't know why game developers think we want to explore this stupid boring sewer. Come on, climb up this faster. 